Hi, my name's Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Dino Crisis and recording it all on VHS. Last time, we built an initializer and a stabilizer. This time, we're going to take those somewhere and do something with them. I think first we're going to go check in with uh, Dr. Kirk. Good old smiley there. And grab my notes that I left on the far end of my desk. Hello, sleepy dinosaur. Hello, Anaid. This is the... <sighs> One of these days, maybe, just maybe, I'll figure out where I'm going. What are you still doing here? Go get those devices. I have them. They are in my inventory. Cool. So we have a stabilizer and initializer. So I guess now we need to actually go through the process of starting up a third energy machine. Okay, you know how I like to talk about good camera angles? That's a really good one. Like that low, long angle. Like that really feels like you're being watched by just something. Sure, let's press the button. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. All right. Well, it is time to review. Let's see if I can make any sense of what I wrote in my notes from that one thing. One, prepare squiggle line. And there goes my pen. Um, move B3 part init. Uh, yeah, this makes no sense. Let's go find that note. Hope I don't need to write anything down, because that totally fell outside of my reach. Do I have anything? Alright, cool. Got my pen. Everything's great now. Everything is fine. There we go. Pen secured. And once again, I try messing with the, uh, the DualShock sticks instead of the, uh, just, you know, the, the D-pad. Okay. Where was the thing that had the very long and detailed constructions? Constructions? Instructions. Perhaps in this manual. Prepare to activate the generator by operating the main panel on the upper floor of the control room. All right. One, main panel. Upper floor. Control room. Two, move to the B3 area of the generator to set an initializer. All right, cool. That is the entirety of that step. Doesn't flow over to the next page. I do not have room to do that. Do, do, do. Move the B, move to the B3 area. Do, do, do. Of generator. Set initializer. Operate the panel near the initializer to connect the inhale shaft to the generator. Okay. Operate nearby panel. Do, 
to connect. Inhale shaft. So last time I did this, and I'm sorry I'm making you sit this through this again, um, my I was trying to write everything really quickly so that we could just keep moving on, and yeah, it turned into an absolute mess of notes. Uh, move to B2 to set the stabilizer. B2, set stabilizer. And 5, activate generator. Okay, it is just five steps, right? Nope, six. Back to control room to adjust the output. Six, control room, adjust output. When activating the generator, make sure the doctor is present to avoid accidents. The generator cannot be activated without Dr. Kirk's ID card, which leads me to believe that... We're going to have to get his card. Okay, so we are in the upper floor. This looks like a main panel. And that's maybe not a main panel. Are you a main panel? Can I get to you? A sub panel. Sub panel. Was I standing in front of the main panel? I probably was. Terminal that controls. Sure. I mean, this seems like the final step. We're in the control room. We need a special key card to operate the generator. This is known. Is this the up? <clears throat> Come on. Stairs. Is this the upper floor? Is this not the control room? This is the control room, right? Have I already pressed the button? Sub-display. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Is there another area that I'm supposed to go to that is more upper than B2? I know there's... Here it is. That's another... Their camera work in this is really, really good. Like, that just... That... It's not quite claustrophobic. It's, like, somewhere between calm and claustrophobic. But just that... That tight angle on Regina's face. Okay. So we're in the B3 area. That looks like where we set a button. Error. Preparation procedure incomplete. Okay, main panel, upper floor control room. No, that's the wrong button. Hold on. Okay. There's a pixel in the background that made me think, oh wait, here's a uh, thing. Oh, come on.
Okay, well, we at least know what step two is. Okay, so this is B2. This is where we'd set the stabilizer. So that gets us to step four. door because I missed whether or not it actually said control room. You say control room, right? Control room. It said upper floor, but let's head to the lower floor just because. This is the... Okay. <clears throat> cool, 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 cool. The lower floor, I'm rereading that thing. Yeah. There's no response. Okay, so that's the main control, I guess. That was a bunch of people arguing in a notebook. Data and stuff. Things what no one cares about, apparently. Okay. I was about to be real mad there for a second that they said, hey, upper floor of the control room, and then it ends up being the lower floor. But. Okay, so I can't click on anything there. This is just like monitors. This sure as heck looks like the official button. Hi, guy. Great. When you fall over, you have to tap things to stand back up. Alright, dude. I've had enough of your junk. Leave me alone. Bloody handprints from poor, poor one that they would not let me help in any way, shape, or form. Currently, power is being supplied to the third energy generator. I don't need to upgrade this anymore. Okay, cool. That's what I would think. Researcher's memo. Kark has been hiding stuff. Part storage. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey. Where do I have just some bullets? Pretty nice that that texture is actually the map of the area. That probably doesn't come across now that I think about it in the footage after VHSifying and digitizing and transcoding and all that stuff. It's probably too fuzzy to tell. Okay, can I press this button? Will it do something different? Or is it just going to sit there and be like, yep, test done? Remember, a special keycard is required to operate the generator. 
Okay. So... Do I need to get... That key card? I mean, you would think I need this key card that I keep saying I need this key card. those devices yet? <laughs> there. I'm... <clears throat> Boy, howdy. All right, so this is the part of the show where I'm going to admit that I came in with some baggage today. I've had a, uh, there's been just some stress over the weekend, and that's that's kind of lingering over me. And mm, 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 mm. we <sighs> okay. So let's go back to that point that I keep coming back to: of hey, here's a thing, and you can inspect it. That's cool. And when you inspect the thing, maybe it will, like, newer games will give you the prompt of, hey, do you want to do the thing? Whereas older games... Oh, come on, dude. Okay, I am bleeding. Great. Whereas older games would leave that up to you to determine. Which, again, makes things more of a puzzle of, do, do you need to use this thing here? Usability-wise, though, it's kind of a real big pain when you try to use the thing and you're just, like, slightly out of position. Thanks. Thanks, game. Do I have to use... Yes. Of course I do. Right. Do I actually even have this number that I need? Okay, yes, I do. It's 31415. So, yeah, this is like, I think, the third time I've tried. Cool. I'm pretending to be Dr. Kirk now. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the third time I've tried to use the fingerprint scanner on him. And turns out, you just end up, I don't need to save, you just end up like two steps too far back. If you, you know, are trying to just talk at him. So, mm, boy, it's salty in here. Mm -mm, salt. Dude, leave me alone. <laughs> Now we can actually do the thing. Yeah. 
No, you're a sub panel. You're the main panel. can do to step two. This is not where the elevator is. Okay, so it's just really frustrating when you're like trying to actively do the thing and you know vaguely how to do the thing, and then there's just like some initial part of it that's just like, you know, a basic thing of just like, cool, I know everything that I need, but I need, you know, this key item, or I need this thing that I just don't seem to have. That is, hmm, that is frustrating. B3 area is set the initializer. Am I close enough? Can I actually set the initializer? sound effect kind of spooky. It's like, that's clearly supposed to be steam, right? But also, you got me worried. Checking that this is in fact the next step to set the stabilizer. This is the panel that activates the third, uh, the, whatever, words. Yes, this is the next step. Activate the generator. And then we go to the control room to adjust output. There's some real good vibration work here too. Like, the, uh, rumble feature there. They're doing a lot with it. Warning. Third energy output is approaching critical point. Cease operation immediately. Date. 
Third energy output is approaching critical point. Attempt to calm it. Okay, Regina. Adjust the power output to maximum. Here goes. Just remember there's no turning back once it overloads. Then we won't look back. Crack that sucker and go out with a boom. Saving me. How pathetic. Well, are we in the final stretch? I should check my map and see where that destination is. Hey, guy. Like, I am, in fact, going... Yeah. Okay. I am where I think I am. Sorry, I'm trying to make sense of this map of, like, where was the dock? If only I had run across the room that I thought I needed to run across. You know what? Real quick. Let's do that save thing. Also going to sign off here. Uh, maybe we'll have another episode's worth. Who knows? I am going to have to determine that. But hey, if it turns out there's not enough room for an episode, then hey, this handy dandy pause screen that I have right now will give me some chance to edit it. And if not, then hey, you get an extended sign out. So anyway, yeah, next time, who knows what's going to happen, but we're going to escape, hopefully. Um, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching, I've been Bryce, this has been VHS Play, and have yourself a lovely evening.